Alright, my test, my test, my test. What is up, everybody? Uh, ADS Play 101 here. And here to talk to you guys about some unfortunate news um, that, you know, was unbeknownst to me. And, um, you know, I just want an explanation and I haven't been able to get one. Hence the reason why I'm making this video. So, just to inform everybody, um, recently I was banned from the Infinity Mugen team uh, forum for reasons unbeknownst to me. Um, I know I didn't do anything to get banned. I know I didn't do anything to get, um, I know I didn't violate any rules or anything like that, but it was a situation that I, you know, I thought that needed to be sp spoken on because I had some things planned uh, in regards to Mugen to, uh, to bring them to my channel. And unfortunately due to this event, it looks like I won't be able to do them unless some admin reverses the decision for whatever reason they did it to begin it, you know, uh, in the first place. So, um, for those of you who don't know about the Infinity Mugen forum, you know, this is like one of the most, uh, most well-known places to get anything, you know, say Mugen related. There's a lot of creators on there. Um, there's a lot of, uh, people on there that if you're looking for something that you may not know, uh, you know, more than likely this is the place to come to to find it because they have that much wealth of information, knowledge, and, um, and experience on this, uh, on this forum so this is definitely the go-to place for anything mugen related um now prior to my return i would say may 5th 2015 um oh, oh, oh was it may 5th or was it may 7th it was may 7th um i returned to mugen after say like a three four year hiatus only because like i, I was losing the passion for mugen um i felt like my you know creativity would have ran its course and um i just didn't have the technology or the the hardware to move any move forward with it so as far as me creating like my my own mugen game i did that uh i never released it to the public because it was kind of like a private thing and um yeah like i just kind of like fell out of love with mugen and you know a couple months ago this year i ended up going back uh to mugen and uh you know, I introduced myself. You see right here, I only made five posts. The first one I made, you know, my first time here since 2015. Um, the second one was, you know, me asking them, like, what were the best creations? Uh, that Asking the people what they felt the best creation was uh, since my since I left. Um, I even posted about the, the E3 2018 uh, lineup that had leaked on on this Canadian Walmart website, I talked about Blaze Blue Cross tag battle during the beta, as well as um, I made a live stream announcement. Now, to my knowledge, as far as the rules, again, it's been like forever since I've been on the Mugen forum, so I was pretty familiar with the rules. Just not, you know, I don't know if anything changed. Maybe they added some new rules, things like that. But to my knowledge, I know I didn't violate anything, let alone. Um, you know, get banned for it. You know, I mean, even previously, you know, prior to you know my first time I was on this website, uh, I never got banned. I never got um in trouble or anything like that. So it wasn't like I had like strikes like from years ago against me. You know, we can even go to the to the posts right here. You can see um I made and this was done on May fifth. This was done on May fifth. So May 5th was my return. I thought it was May 7th because I looked at the time the last post was made. But May, like May 5th was the last time I was, um, you know, that was my first time back in uh, quite some time. And I even told, you know, asked about the best creations, things like that. You know, um, even talked about the 2018 Walmart lineup. I know I didn't have any choice words in that video to where they would want to do anything against me. Um, even talked about the Blaze Blue Cross tag battle um, beta. Uh, as well as um, the event I had for my live stream, you know, I, I mean, I didn't, you know, there wasn't anything to to get me banned. So I'm just wondering what what happened. Uh, so I even messaged since I, I haven't been able to get in touch with anybody through the website, obviously, because if I try to do that. You see right here, you know, this is like a permanent ban. Like I wasn't, you know, this ain't no temporary thing. So I'm just wondering what happened that caused them to do this. I think it was honestly some overzealousness. I don't think it was, you know, I think it was a mistake in all honesty. I don't think it was 
anything serious. The only far-fetched idea I can have is maybe I beat one of the admins in a video game. They're salty, and you know what I mean. They just decided to ban get get back. But I don't think that that's what it is. It's just something random because I I had made plans to come back to to Mugen full force and uh and to do some things. And I was messaging some people trying to get permission. Um, you know, asking if you know I, I can get permission from them to use certain characters and things like that, and all that was underneath this name. So unfortunately, for the people who was probably was hoping to hear from me, I haven't been able to to respond because of this. You know what I mean? So if you message me back and I haven't responded back to you, this is the reason why. Like, I had plans on you know literally bringing, um, literally doing some things with Mugen that was interesting. So. I mean, maybe I have to make a new account and do it all over again, but it's just sucky knowing that, you know, I didn't violate any rules and that's what happened. The last time something like this happened to me was, it was like one guy, I can't remember the, his name, but I think the name of the of the forum, what I think it's called, like Phantom G or something like that, people who are familiar with Mugen, you, you, that name should ring a bell because the guy who ran it, he was like this 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 like he, this, this is this guy who had like such a superiority complex to where unless you was kissing his ass like he was going to ban you for any question you may have had you know what I mean like you could have been new to the website which I was and I had matter of fact I don't think I got banned from the forum I think I just left because once I seen he, how he was acting acting towards other people it was like I asked I, I remember one time in particular on the Phantom G website, not this one, was um when I asked him a question about something that I couldn't find because I was new to the website and the way things were organized, it was kind of hard to just like, you know what I mean, like figure things out and find where things were. And then you ask him and he just he responds back in such a, like a, a snotty attitude to the point where you just didn't feel welcome there as a newcomer. So I was like, fuck it, I just left. You know, I don't think I got banned. If I did, I don't know anything about it, but... But yeah, this is kind of like a, a random occurrence. Like, I, again, I, sh I showed you guys. I, I messaged them on on Facebook, and I haven't gotten anything back from them. I think they just, you know, I mean, it's not like I have a, a way to, to message them through this. You know what I mean? And if I message them through the this dummy account that I'm using, you know, they might just ban me again. So I'm just like, you know, I I'm trying to get these projects done and uh trying to do something with mugen something special for mugen and i'm just in like a, a rut because you know when something happens to you like me i'm a person that i don't care what the punishment is if i deserve it i deserve it at the very least i know why it happened you know what i mean i'm not going to complain i'm just live. i'm just going with my life and so be it but when something happens to you and you don't know why Especially getting, you know, banned for good on like a form that you was using, knowing that you didn't violate any any rules that they had or any type of agreement or anything like that. Everything was posted in the general discussion. This was in general discussion, meaning that they you can talk about anything on here. So I know I wasn't posting anything where it shouldn't be. So again, like and I know the things that I posted wasn't any type of bannable offense. I didn't message any anything rude to anybody. So it's just like, why was I banned? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, and I couldn't message. The only reason why I'm making this video is, is for two reasons. One, because the people who I was messaging probably wondering why I haven't messaged them back, messaged them, them back in like so long. Because um, I don't know how soon they messaged me back. Uh, two, just to possibly get in touch with the admins and talk to them and try to see what happened or try to see if somebody can you know give me an answer as to why this happened uh to um if i broke any rules um you know let me know because i didn't know you know like you know what i mean like i didn't know what i was coming back to um really it's just one of those random things where i think it was just a, an act of overzealousness because I, I do remember a couple times during my first time being on this forum not since my return but prior to that where it was like some uh moderators they were trying to take action against me for whatever random reason i know i didn't deserve it in that and another moderator had reversed their decisions um you know 
trying to get to get in their head and tell them that you know he didn't violate any rules why are you doing that you know what i mean so i don't know if those guys left and like the assholes are still here but regardless of the fact i know for a fact i didn't do anything to get banned and i'm just trying to figure out why it happened and just try to possibly get this uh decision reverse you know i like the form i like visiting the form uh i was happy to be back on it uh active on it and to just come back randomly and just find out that this happened you know i just don't know what rules i broke to cause for that to happen i can't get in touch with anybody so you know i try to message or log in or do anything it's not going to let me i can't even message anybody on here so that, that, you know i apologize for the people who I, I was working with you know that this happened but you know it was just a bunch of nonsense that hopefully we can get the issue resolved and i can get back you know to doing what i was doing with mugen if not then i mean you know because all of my information is on this you know was on this account and i just you know it's like some of that stuff can't be duplicated i'm gonna just leave it at that uh so this is the account that i actually need so yeah i'm just trying to uh get some answers because when you know you didn't do anything wrong and something bad happens to you you know like you're not just going to sit there and take it like you just want to know what's up so yeah so that's basically it uh wanted to inform people and let everybody know who i was working with you know what happened and why i haven't gotten back to them um any event that they did message me back or any admins that was you know i was speaking to when this happened and you probably wondered thinking out of the left again that's not the case this happened so yeah so that's pretty much it you know it's it, it sucks but you know uh, hopefully we'll figure it out and we can possibly get this decision reversed um cause i do think it was a mistake maybe they meant to ban somebody else and they banned me because i know i didn't do anything to to break the rules so there was no need for this so yeah man so that's it man thank you guys for watching uh peace and I'll give you guys an update on this as soon as possible.